To spend the night here, the monster will have to wait. There you are. As you can see, I have decided to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. Nasra, you get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. Come on, you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic. But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans. To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kiddies. Betty buys. <sighs> <sighs> Aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal?
the Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. Ah. <laughs> the cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. Adam Principal, show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. <laughs> oh dear, looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. <laughs> Stop! 
<laughs> that will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. The Slayer of the Sands is bested, all in a day's work for the Prince of Galopolis. <laughs> you saw me, man, did you not? You saw the People's Prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Of course, Your Highness. <sighs> You have my thanks, Fred. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your... valuable contribution. <laughs> I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. Really, Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. <laughs> To Galopolis, men! We return as heroes! Yeah! Oh, well, this feels all kinds of wrong. You're right, Sylvando. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves!
friends! We have no need to be afraid! Prince Faris will protect us! Yes! Yes! We have nothing to fear with the prince on our side! Well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. After me now, a knight's word. Uh, a knight's word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. Hmm? Huh? 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 <gasps> well, don't stop. He, he serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and and never retreats in the face of adversity. That's more like it. Now, my little principal, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? I... I wish to be remembered as a knight of Galopolis! what you can do when you put your mind to it, huh? Wait! Did you...? I won't always be here to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? I'm so well versed in the ways of chivalry. Are you a knight? Who, me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester. something too, despite your protestations. The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. Your dream will come true at last. I am so pleased for you. <laughs> Hendrik? Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? 
are, but I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course, but surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. Certainly, certainly, but my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. What? What would compel you to sell one of our most precious treasures? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's Sand National? We made a sacrifice for your sake. Father, I... All I can tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads there. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ow! A thousand pardons! I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly, I did not. It is scant consolation, I am sure. But please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan knights. It allows one to provoke distant foes into combat and is an excellent way to gain battle experience. Or so I am told. <laughs> you have done our kingdom a great service. Should you ever need our assistance, you need only say the word. And as for me, I will be sorry to see you leave. But I am sure there will be other Gallum. <laughs> <coughs> Kindly travelers along soon enough. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> At last! I was beginning to think you had snuck out through the stage door. Huh? Ow. You again. What do you want this time? Hey, Ta -da! Oh, don't be coy, darling. I want to come with you, of course. You should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. What are you talking about? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it isn't. I've seen my fair share of fun and games on my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? But I've seen tragedy too. People attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. You know, my dream has always been to build a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. But how can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives awful? What I'm trying to say, darlings, is that we all want the same thing. So you see, I have to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. This guy really doesn't take no for an answer, huh? Guess I'm part of the gang now. Yay! So, tell me, what's our next move? Well, to get to Yggdrasil, we're going to need the Rainbow. And it seems that a traveling merchant has taken it to Gondolia. Gondolia? But honey, that's a port town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail by now. That's true. Then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry, and... 
The ferry? Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little people. Well, what's your bright idea then? I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more chic, no? And luckily for you, I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. What? You've got your own boat? That's amazing! You're going up in my estimation by the minute. You'd really be willing to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvander? But of course, sweetie. That's what friends are for. And guess where the old girl is dog, hmm? No? Why, Gondolia, of course! Lucky! So what are we waiting for? The ocean beckons, shipmate! Westward ho!